Ah. Uh, dude. I almost thought for a second this damn, uh, menu music right here had no chill, dude. All I was hearing was, it just like, it was fucking loud. I mean, it just felt obnoxious, dude. I don't know. Like this music right here. All right, I'm chill. All right, it's fine. But dude, oh my God, I was not having it with that other music that was playing. It's not having it. Like, ugh. My eye itches. <clears throat> okay. Alright. We're back. And we need to find some welding tools. Hmm? Oh. Sail good, sail good. Oh, Mr. Blaskovich, I will need some welding equipment. Of course, of course. To the outside world, Set Roth lived as a watchman or watchmaker in Stuttgart, Germany, but secretly he was a member of the Da At uh, performing amazing research in a variety of scientific fields. He managed to hide for many years when the Nazis took control, but eventually they caught up with him and shipped him off to the labor camps. Sent. Yes. I'm trying to figure out what exactly you were doing in this organization of yours. Was it some kind of supernatural engineering? We don't believe in things supernatural. We believe in... Max Haas? Yes, Max Haas. I uh All right, what what am I looking for here? It's somewhere right here. In the hangar. Bet he's tinkering with them helicopters. Oh, Ferguson. He has the keys? Or what is he doing? Actually, you know what? There's something I want to do down there in the hangar. I'm going to go clarify what's down that well. Well, that big guy, she it's him. Oh, my bad, sorry. Shit, I should have let him kill. Alright, I'm gonna go figure out what's down this well. I'm probably gonna die for it, but, uh. Oh, fuck, maybe I can't go back up. Can I go back down? No, they covered it. You're looking at me for answers, are you? I have answers, you ape. Real answers of importance. Meaningful answers. None of which you would like. Most of which would make you want to lay down on your back and surrender. Most of which would put a pit in your stomach. Most of which would break your heart. What are we talking about here? You should find your answers elsewhere. I, I don't know what we were talking about. What's up, Ferguson? What do you want, Blaskowitz? I don't know what water. I want. You seen it? No, I don't think so. No, oh, wait a minute. No, you're right. You're right. I was meaning to sort out the railing over by the secret fountain entrance. The fucking thing fell out of my hand into the water. I'm a bit busy at the moment, but you want the welder? You go right on ahead and start swimming. The door to the secret fountain entrance is in the main room behind the table. Go over there, and you should find the welder somewhere down in the water somewhere. Okay. Um. I was thinking about it, man. Like, while I was, you know, just laying down in bed, dude, about the whole um, Wyatt and Ferguson decision that I had to make. And how Ferguson over here is thinking that, you know, you sh it should be me that was dead. You should have just saved the kid and stuff. Like, bro, he's acting like I'm happy about it or something. Like, he, like I'm happy about the decision about killing Wyatt and saving your ass, Ferguson. Like, bro... This is this this just pisses me off that he thinks that this is something that that I had a choice, you know, like I mean obviously I did have a choice. I had to make a choice to continue with the game, but like fuck off, Ferguson, dude. Like it's not it help set locate any part he might need, okay? Yes. 
Um, it just pisses me off, dude. Like, I don't know, man. Like, I rewatched it, too. I rewatched my, uh, my gameplay where I made the choice, um, when it, when it happened, and I don't know, man. Like, obviously, Ferguson, dude, if you wanted, if you were willing to die, if you were ready to die, I would have been, all right, say something, man, and I would have fucking chosen Wyatt, you know? Sorry, pal. Don't mean to, you know, derail your train of thought, but, uh, I need to get through that door. Uh, please. What I think about, I'd rather not think about. <laughs> that bad, huh? Jay would think that when Jay seen what I have, your mind would break like an egg. How come it has not? Well, maybe it has begun already and I just don't know it. <laughs> World changing. No matter who you are or what you're made of. Thing is, you and me, we just gotta ride the whirlwind. Make it through to the other side. And kill all the Nazis? <laughs> and kill all the Nazis. I would drink with you in celebration for near that time comes. Your arm. Dude, this guy, Bomb Bombate, dude, he's fucking chill, dude. He's fucking chill. I like him. I like his character. Was raised in the streets of Wind... Uh, Ho Hoek? N Nambia? Namiba. Alalala. As the Nazis be began conquering more and more of the African continent, Bombate traveled north to fight them. After two years of leading successful counterattacks on the invading army, Bombate was captured in prison in a forced labor camp. Of course, I don't have any weapons for some reason. Besides these. Uh... Alright. Oh, I can't make that jump. Oh, here we go. Oh, wait, what was that? Okay. Uh. Oh, they didn't use up much battery. Okay, I thought. It was... Find a way back, huh? chain over there. Damn, I'm surprised I, I made that. Alright. Oh! Oh, okay, I didn't know the gun does the same thing. Alright. Außerdem ist Hans auch in der südwestlichen Mandschurei stationiert und da macht er doch die letzte 
Oh, okay. Damn, dude, the Germans actually took over everything. That's crazy. I know I'm doing this prematurely, but I mean... I'm alright with that. Next out. Oh, you guys got... okay. Okay, I, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna need these as cover. Something big's coming. Fuck. There's a two of them? I think this gun was more reliable actually, this one here. You ain't nothing but a ham. Oh, damn. No, not that song again. <laughs> the Embodiment of Young Love. Carl and Carla's... Si Wait a minute. Carl... What do I feel like I've actually heard something like this before? 
Carl and Carla sing of holding hands, quiet strolls, and picnic and picnics in rolling hills. In the rolling hills, they long for a peck on the cheek and a date to the cinema. And don't worry, they'll be home by curfew. And so we are little lovebirds. You know, I think about it, man. I live a peaceful life, dude. I live a very peaceful life. I'm I'm able to, you know, game, and I have a job here at my home. Which I'm very fortunate to have my job to be able to work at home. This is, I think it's fucking awesome being able to wake up like five minutes before my shift, get out of bed, and just start logging in. You know, I don't even brush my teeth, wash my hair, nothing. I just like, I could just log right in and I'm good to go. Uh, you know, and it's just, it's, it's, um, I don't know where I'm going with this, but yeah, man, living a peaceful life. Uh,. I don't know, man. So it, it has its downfalls in the sense that things get really bland. Like, really bland. Um, how did I miss that? No. No. I, no. I did not miss that. I am not missing that. Maybe you have to shoot the. Maybe you have to shoot this right here. Oh yeah, that's what it was. Man, dude, I just need a girl in my life, bro. I just need a woman. Someone who's down. Oh. Oh, I'm back. All that work for a lousy welder. Next time you go get it, Fergus. Hey. Oh, I'm sorry. It's just my wedding ring. It's gone. I'm always so clumsy. I lost it when we got back. It's not worth much, but it's all I have left of him. <clears throat> I'm looking for a ring. Carry on. <laughs> I wasn't. I wasn't here to. I think. I think I freaked him out. If we're going to steal a Nazi, I need to oh, the dumbbells. <laughs> yeah. No pain. No gain. Yeah. You still <laughs> got it, old man. <laughs> Uh, where the fucking a fucking ring, dude? Where the hell am I gonna find a ring? You lost it when we got here, so probably somewhere in the hangar. Hey guys, y'all seen a ring anywhere? Alright, I'm not going to look too heavily for this thing, but it would be nice if it just kind of ran into it. I don't know, man. Maybe the whole thing, the whole... Maybe Ferguson was just really stressed at the time when he went on his little ramp... Uh, venting... You know, when he was venting to me about the kid. Like, I, I don't know. Oh, fuck. Oh, wait. I didn't even see if something health upgrade was there. Oh, yeah. Me and my girl. 
Christ, Tecla! Why aren't you asleep? I try not to sleep. No telling if I'll ever wake up. Why are you? Wh why Let are you here? Let me ask you something. Okay. You understand. Where do you go when you lose consciousness? Why even bother? What? Sleep? <laughs> surprise, surprise. You have a brain. The brain is a biological computational device running an electrochemical process. Your consciousness is an emergent property of that process. Blank face like that of a baby. In other words, you are your electrochemical process. Fundamentally, you have the experience of a continuous existence. You are you at this point in time, the same you. How is my grandma waking happened. up from you this? You have a sensation of riding along this continuum of being you into the future. Do you follow me? Doesn't look like it. Continuing. On occasions, the brain may be subjected to trauma. Temporarily discontinuing the electrochemical process, such as a boxer being knocked out. As this occurs, the brain is no longer running its electrochemical consciousness generating process. Hence, consciousness is lost. You lose consciousness. Pay attention now. At this point in time, your consciousness, all that is you, your continuum of being you, has ceased to exist in the physical world. Now, moments later, the electrochemical process may start up again, allowing consciousness to emerge out of the information stored in the brain. But I wonder, where are you in the meantime? Oh, it's too stupid. Must we not assume that at the point when consciousness is lost, the person dies? If a new consciousness appears or not in the same brain is entirely inconsequential to the dead consciousness. The new consciousness is simply a new person. Because it emerges from the same brain, it has access to all the memories and cognitive structures as a dead consciousness, so it thinks it is the same person, but in actuality, it is just an imposter, inheriting the body and brain from the previous, now dead inhabitant. Yes, like talking to a child. <gasps> What about the soul? Oh, soul. I knew he was stupid. There's no such thing as a soul. We are machines of biology, nothing more, nothing less. Idiot! The soul is simply a pointless concept dreamt up by priests and fairy tale men. You're an anomaly, you. An outlier, useless. A laughing anus is what you are. Uh, girl, you telling me you slipped through all that shit? What? Man. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. What she was talking about actually got my, piqued my interest a little bit here because. What to make uh, you? I do not know. Are you here to help me? You seem beyond help. What are you working on? Gathering data, Nazi activity, behavioral patterns, hours, theirs, doing the math, developing predictions. Where are they allocating resources? Where will they strike next? And after that, what are the larger trends triggering their actions? Figure out what choices they will make before they make them. You talk as if the future is inevitable, as if all our choices have already been made. <laughs> you think there is such a thing as free will? <laughs> you know so little of the world. You want to be the captain of your fate, do you? This fight, you will lose. You cannot go to war against physics. My actions are my own. I know that much. All phenomena in the physical world follow the simple rule of cause and effect. Your brain is no exception to the rule. Know the causes, you can predict the effects. The same is true for everything. Uh -huh. So what's with the arsenal? Preparing for the end. I know where my road leads, and I intend to take as many Nazis with me as I can muster. Uh -huh. You have any experience with firearms? Will you teach me? I, uh, I do like her accent. I do find her accent. <laughs> Look, what? This is, this is here every time I sleep or what? I, like, I don't even, I, I should be doing this. I, I don't even, I do this by accident because I go into every room and I just start pressing square and square is the prompt to sleep here and so it just happens. I'm not doing it on purpose to go to sleep. I just do it because it's, it's, it just happens every time. There's a fucking thing back there. How do, how do you get back there? Anyways, um, what she was saying actually piqued my interest because, uh, you know, death has been on my mind a lot recently, and, uh, you know, it's, it's, uh, it gets you thinking, right? Like, what, what happens when you die? I saw a video on uh, Instagram, a reel, or whatever you want to call it, um, 
of Stan Lee mentioning he was I forget I don't know who the other guy he was talking to he's, he's a pretty famous guy because I've seen him before the guy that Stan Lee was talking to but I don't know his name um, anyways he's like he's talking to Stan Lee he's asking him what do you think happens to you when you die or uh, let, hold on let me wait it's on my phone where's my phone hold on let me get my phone real quick let me see I, I sent it to myself Alright, hold on. It's, uh, it's here. Hold on. Is this the one? Yeah, this is the one. Oh, no, it's it. Okay, listen, watch. Are you afraid of dying? No. Not at all. You think you go somewhere? Uh, no. The one thing I can't understand, I can't grasp my mind around, I feel when you die, there's just nothing. It's like when you're asleep and you're not dreaming. But I can't imagine nothingness lasting forever. That's, what That's I mean. the thing that I cannot I can't grasp. To not exist yeah. forever. forever. Are you free? That's, that's the thing I was talking about. Grasp. So Stanley believes basically that this is what she was talking about. Basically, like when you lose consciousness, where are you? Right? You're not. You're not in your body. You're just. You're not there. It, you're. You're gone. But where do you go? I wanted to say limbo, just because like limbo is like just nothingness. You're just in forever eternity i guess i don't know but um this is what i i, I literally i saved it i sent this video to myself because it hit me hard because that is something that i believe is a very good a very like likely possibility that when you die it's just like when you were born you have no memory of when you were born you just came into existence one day and you started life. Well, when we leave this life, it's most likely going to be the same thing. I mean, the process of dying is scary, right? Because, you know, there's just so many ways you could die. Um, you know, hopefully everybody, I mean, not everybody has an easy passing, right? I mean, but, you know, I would, I personally would want people to have an easy passing into the next into the nothingness or whatever happens but um i don't know man stan lee's point was um basically like hey i can't imagine nothingness lasting forever because it's just like before we were born we don't we didn't we have no recollection of what happened before we were born it was just darkness at least for me, I can just imagine just darkness and nothingness. I don't know. Time is kind of irrelevant because, you know, when you sleep, right, sometimes you feel like you slept for, I don't know, like you wake up after an eight-hour nap or eight, ten-hour nap or, or not a nap, sorry, ten-hour sleep or something, but you feel like you've only slept for like 30 minutes. Like, it, it's just... I, I don't know, man. I, there, there's, a, there's a lot that I want to talk about on this. It's just, this probably isn't the right time to talk about it. Because uh, I want to play the game too. So let's, I don't know, man. I just, her, when she brought that up, that just came to mind. The whole, like, what happens when we are not in this world. When we lost consciousness and we're just in pitch black nothingness, you know? It's not scary being in that pitch black nothingness but um you know it's just something to think about like that like i would love to have a deep conversation with somebody on this this is something that i would love to have with with somebody but um not nah, man nobody wants to have deep conversations like that
Oh shit. America's fighting back. Oh no, this is 1940. Well, this is 1949. This when was this one? There's no date. This is All these things, dude. This is literally world conquest, dude, for fucking Germany. They're literally conquering the world. It's crazy. Uh, a ring. Oh, if I don't see it here. Let's go check up real quick. I doubt, I doubt it's up here, but... You never know, right? What was that? Did something just glimmer here? Oh. Uh. When did we get these? I didn't see that there before. Alright. Continue with the story. Oh, That's all I need. Or actually, would you uh, deliver this note to Anya? She will need the frequency of the transponder to track the thing. Like I'm the goddamn errand boy. <laughs> She's literally right here. Alright, let's talk about this uh, U boat. We're gonna try to get. William. Do you have a moment? Stupid Laskovets Kazan. Schon wieder mit dieser Unsinn. Fuck off, dude. Was los mit dieser Leute? I want this with you like this always. It will happen, William. Believe it. Listen to my voice, Blaskovich. There you are now, inside sewage tunnels. The intestinal tracts of the city. And deeper below, the Berlin Catacombs. A vast complex. The most secure site in all Berlin. The central munition stockpile of the Nazi regime. The things we could do with those weapons. Riot. We revolt. This access road is waterlocked. Impenetrable to outsiders. There's only one way to breach across the perimeter. It's a tunnel glider. The Nazis use them for maintenance down there. We've been trying for years to bring it up to working order. This is the first phase of the plan right. to gain access to sets underwater safe keep. Use the tunnel glider to find a way into the weapons depot in the burning catacombs. Anya has agreed to track your position over the transponder and provide tactical support. Good luck, Sir Blaskovich. What's up, baby girl? Make your way all the way through the sewer tunnels and into the Berlin catacombs. I'll try to guide you through. Uh, ten four. Hey man, get you a girl who. Ooh man, dude, a girl who knows what she wants, dude. Like, come on, dude. Like, how could you? How could you not? Like, like. All right. Dude, I love Anya, dude. Hold on, I'm just getting my controls here. Which way are we heading? Down? Why does it feel a little bit difficult to move and control my angle where I'm going? 
I'm trying to head down a little bit. It's easier to go left and right, but when it comes to up and down, it just... Okay, how do I see? Uh, back up, back up, back up, back up. I was a kid. The red tide was rising. Went in the water on account of disobeying father. Felt like my skin was on fire. Like my skin was on fire. You are right underneath the Eisenwald prison now. Caroline told me a few inmates tried to escape through the sewer system with some valuables a few years ago. They didn't make it very far. Can I make it through this? No, I can't. Back it up, back it up. I'm fucking struggling trying to go down and up. your cousin or who was it again I'm not sure I really need this here Okay. Reposition the pump wheels. It's changing color down here. Actually, I gotta use the restroom real quick. I've been drinking a lot of uh, this stuff here. Alright, uh, give me a second, guys. I'll be back right now.
All right, I'm back. I'm back. Let's get this thing started. All right. Oh, what? There's another one over there? Just missed it. There's a little bit of a delay before it stops, too. Okay, that should be good. That should be good. Swim any water in my days. Not as cold as this. Kind of looks like a dead end. Oh. Um. Uh, wait. What am I doing here? I feel like I swim faster underwater than I do up top. What? Did I miss something? Okay, I, I, I must have missed something, because, uh, go down, down, see, I can't go down while... I'm trying to move forward at the same time. Yeah, I mean, I must have missed something here. What? Where'd it go?
I'll find a way. Don't worry. Good, it's good. Yeah. I'm being pushed. Current. You think that's active? I was there. I have to let that thing go, right? Because it's got a chain. Wait. Chain. Okay, I can't. I don't know what the hell's happening here, but I can't change the the way to use the gun. The other form of shooting. I am. Oh, I know the way to do this, but the fucking motherfucker, the son of a bitch ass motherfucking current. You know what I'm saying? It's fucking current. It's being fucking. It's being an asshole. Yeah, there you go. The current's gonna drift it. This is wood. Age 19, dove down the well to salvage father's watch. But it wasn't as deep as this. That's what I was trying to do in the water, but it wasn't letting me. It's from the other side. Check out what's down here. <gasps> uh. Is this the other side? Go 
Code la Lunula? Lanula? Lanula? I did a loop de loop. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, that's certain death. Yeah, I don't think I can go back. I gotta start all over. <clears throat> My question is, once I complete this campaign, should I do the other... The other campaign where we choose Wyatt instead of Ferguson? Fergus. Use up the whole battery? You are now inside the Fenton's Deep Room. This is the second phase of the plan to gain access to Set's underwater safe keep. In these munition stocks there is a cargo train. The train is packed full. Small arms, artillery shells, torpedoes and such for distribution to the Nazi war machine. You will steal this train. Small arms we can use to strengthen our fighters, but the real target is securing the torpedo delivery. This will allow you to board and seize control of a Nazi U-boat. But first things first, steal the train. 10-4. We're, we're not... Train and drive to the abandoned underground train station north of there. Our people will be waiting for you at the station. Klaus will give you further details on the ground. Dude, we're just getting non-stop upgrades. Alters the beam to affect any mechanical targets. Oh, L press L1 and R1 to rotate the tunnel glider. Bro, that could have been a lot easier for me to fucking steer that thing. Oh, man, I didn't read. I thought it was just a simple up and down. No, that, that, it wasn't just a simple up and down. is locked. Alright, we're just gonna cut our way through then. Is this oh fuck that up, fuck that up, fuck that up. I'm recharge real quick one time for the one time. It's the other way. Makes you want to go this way. Alright, there's nothing over here. Shit, there's people. Commanders? Bro, get up the fucking shit, bro. What are you doing? Are you serious? I really can't jump this.
know if I want to do that yet. I want to clear this area out first. What? Well, mate, okay. I obviously won't be able to get up there. Do you see any movement out there? I'm not seeing any movement. This guy's moving. What up? What the fuck? Where the fuck are these dudes? Can I just get my regular assault rifle, please? I miss that. to do this nice and easy, but... Okay, alright, hold on. Let's see if this thing, this bad boy works here. You're not going to fit in here. Super sold Super soldier? Super soldier? Several generations later, the Super Soldaten Sudaten, have evolved into state-of-the-art war machines. Their engineered bodies are covered by a shiny titanium steel alloy. Alloy. There you go. Super laser cannons. Alright, well, fuck it. This thing, this gun's actually really good. This one here, this laser gun. Or this battery gun. I don't know what the hell this thing's called. What is it called? I don't fucking I don't know the name. Laser cutter something. So we're still in the train. There's some torpedoes there. I just saw it. Fuck, did I make that jump? But I couldn't do it earlier. Alright, uh, what's over here? I don't understand the jumping aspect of this game anymore. ready to take off, are we? Bro! What is holding me back? 
What? How did I fall down? Let's try this again. Ooh la la, look at this girl. God damn. I was supposed to do that, right? Cause I'm just kind of going around discovering. What's up with the music? Why is it? What the fuck? Oh, I have no grenades. I'll deal with you guys when I get- oh! I did not see that coming. There's health in here? Oh, it's kind of broke. Okay. <sighs> Wait, is there, there's a downstairs? Ah! Stuck. What? Did I take down the big dude? Yeah, he's gone. Okay. Change this real quick. It's fine. It's fine. We got this. We're all right. Well, I don't, I don't think the big guy knows where we're at. Oh, actually, yes. Uh, 
Play it smart, play it smart. What? There's two... Basically, we have unlimited ammo with this thing. This is gonna take forever. I don't even know if I'm attacking the same one. What do I got? Oh, hell yes! Okay. Okay. All right, I think we're good to go. Kissen, sonst merken die, dass etwas nicht stimmt. Ja, ja. They supply the torpedoes to all the Nazi U-Boats in Europe. You will hide in the torpedo. Horst will slip it back into main supply. And you will wake up on a U-Boat for breakfast time. Once we have a U-Boat, we take it to set secret safe keep, yeah? Huh? <sighs> sailors, get in the way. Bang, bang, all the pop. <clears throat> Come on, man. I'll fuck the pig, you just hold the ears. Okay, Carrer Johnny. Get in the torpedo. Once you board the U-boat, patch this thing into the communication room and raise the antenna buoy. We need radio contact. The dark dreams seem to fade. Too far out of reach. For now, I just miss the light. Doing some tactical espionage. Oh shit. Shrap.
Okay. I don't know if I want to go loud right now, but... Shotgun. Not right now. Who the fuck is shooting? I don't need the fuck. I'm trying to just shoot. Okay. Who the fuck is. that didn't go according to plan, but we're going to be alright. We are we just need to hold on, actually. Crap. Alright, well, I think I fucked that up. Never mind. They already know I'm here, so. <laughs> Just looking at the. Okay. God, these guys are not wearing armor, dude. Think. I think I should give in. Fuck that. Oh, fuck. So that's what ricocheting bullets do. Fuck off! Fucking A, dude. Um, I was kind of, I was I was I actually uh, hmm. Shit, I don't know which one. No, I wasn't. Yeah, I wasn't, I wasn't stuck in there.
Where's nah, where's the second dude? Canister on his back. Should have known, dude. I should have fucking known. Just enough. you come from oh Okay. Oh no. Fuck. Now I see the the okay. Which ones are my shrapnel shells and which ones are my regular shells? Bro, we Oh, I think that headshot got him instant killed.
course it's... Damn, what the fuck just hit me? Okay, I think that was the main dude. Think I'm a jig. Hold on, just uh, looking for health. Yeah, Let me charge this bad boy. What? Hey, is this? Can I sit in this? No? Okay. Some more health. How did I miss that armor? Alright. Reload. Oh yeah, America! Raise the buoys. It is, right? Like the way the, the way you pronounce it too, it's kinda like Like I don't know man. I don't know. Buoy. Radio buoys are up. Alright, let's do it. We did it boys, we did it. Find decryption keys. The actual physical nuclear decryption keys are not kept on planet Earth. They're stored in the Nazi lunar base. You all captains are required to learn them by heart. Well, the lunar base is the most secure facility the Nazis have. It's where they do all their top secret research these days. What's your point? Uh, Caroline and Anya are working on a bucket HQ. In the lach, we are here. My father taught me this rhyme as a child. There are many other songs for different places. Oh, no, cockadoodle, dude. You fancy that little bit something? You should... <laughs> oh, fuck me in the head. Cockadoodle-doo. You know, I have like uh, something similar to um, the Lassophobia, but I feel pretty calm right now. Hold on. Oh well, I guess I can't go that way. All right, we're going in. Many among us wanted to even the balance of the war. 
But things happen fast. Our gatekeepers were looted and then some were exiled. Some succeeded. Uh, we, we had begun to transfer much knowledge to the governments who fought the Nazis, and there was hope. For the time, there was hope. Still, the Nazis dropped the atom bombs. Well, there was no hope there. I, I remember when the Das Jugend would gather in places like this, it was das screaming with life and <clears throat> the channels of nature was open, but now, now, I think we may be the last to visit, but here we are, but let me see, warning, blah, 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 Bobby my sister, just step inside, yeah, there's a transition chamber, the main hall, wait, 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 what do you mean, warning? That warning, warning, the instructions are old and faded. Let's go. This we used to get to the main hall. I don't recognize these symbols. Oh, let me. What, 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 what? You should go uh, next there, Blaskowitz. I'll cover the rear, all right? Right, 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 all right. <laughs> This place looks amazing. Well, shut my pants when I think, huh? Jesus Christ! What the hell is this thing? This is the secret vault out there. Now, first, we need to activate the magnetic fields and create an entryway. Now, this machine here, it controls the electromagnetic fields. Yes. Okay, are you ready, Ingele? One, two, three, go! What am I doing? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Mr. Vlaskovic, show me your laser weapon, please. Give it... Oh, okay, I'm coming. I'm coming. There. This is the Asiyuch prism to make your laser beam attuned to the proper frequency. And you should be able to charge the magnetic coils. You see them? It's, it's up there. Right. I will work to get this thing going. What kind of place is this? This is an ancient place. Uh, right? It looks like fucking aliens made this place, if you ask me. This is like this before mankind knew of the compass, you know? When you have clarity of purpose, when you have people to share your cause, anything is possible. You understand me? True, I guess, I suppose. Mr. Blaskovich, yeah. hit the coils with your laser! <sighs> Sorry, I'm getting a drink. I'm getting a drink. I'm ready. Alright. Here we go. That's not it. Coils. I'm talking about... Wait a minute. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Maybe I could get it from the other... Right here. I could just hit it from here. Maybe not. What? <clears throat> Whoops. Yo, tell me there's a energy recharge thing here, because, uh... You're talking about this, man, because I just saw some. Can I get up? Hello? <clears throat> Something red on my reticle here.
shit. Okay, I get it. I get it. <clears throat> Damn, I'm not gonna have enough energy for this. Do I? Hold on. Okay, there ha there has to be like I should be able to do this, right? Ah, oh, there we go. I definitely do hurt. Uh, see what I did? Th okay, I'll stop. And now we ascend. Take us up, Shimshin. Hey. Tell me, Seth Roth is not a genius. Bro, look at all this fucking shit. Gentlemen, this is it. Go ahead, look around. Anything that is useful to you, you may take. Just remember, you are in a sacred space. Oh, wait, I didn't do it. It wasn't me. Yeah, I'm doing well. Although, uh, this war has grown a little wearisome. Nothing much of interest ever happens around these parts. Today I landed a helicopter on a nicked Nazi nuclear submarine aircraft carrier, after which I donned a deep water diving suit, swam down an abyssal trench in the middle of the Atlantic fucking ocean, don't mean to bore you with the details. Long story short, I'm now standing inside a secret vault full of things so magical and abnormal in nature, the mind has no recourse but to shudder in bewilderment. <laughs> Of course, I'm accompanied by a Nazi-killing lunatic and some kind of genius wizard who claims to be on a first-name basis with God Almighty himself. Uh, oh, well, we can only hope for more stimulating turn of events in the future. Uh, give my love to everyone back home, Fergus. <laughs> Roger. I'm sufficiently impressed. Yes. Dude, looking at all this stuff, dude, I definitely don't even feel like even now we have this kind of technology. This is fucking crazy. Um, <clears throat> uh, I do need to use the restroom again. What the fuck? Okay, uh, give me a second, guys. I'll be back right now again.
I, I, I'm back. So I get, are we supposed to push in these things or? Let's just see what happens. I don't know. Exit level. There's a. There's probably a certain way to do this. <clears throat> there is! What is this? Oh! Which one is. Which one? Wait, 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 wait. How many are there? There's a. Uh, uh, six of them? Five of them. Alright, how many we got? Let's see, one, two, three, two, four. Okay, there's five. Fuck, alright. What order do I do it, though? Oh, wait a minute. I think I get it. I think I get it. Two coils. Where's the, uh... Okay, maybe not. We don't start with that one. We start with this one. Hmm. Okay. All right. That's something different. Let's uh. Let's 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 do this one now. No, wait, no, not that one. We're. This one. Okay. Okay. Where? Yeah, it's this one right here. <laughs> I suppose we, um, this order doesn't matter. Ah, oh, it does. Okay, alright. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I fucked that up. <laughs> Open sesame. What do we do? It's the final piece. Portable reactor? Oh, look at that! Let's see. Yep, I see it moving. All right, let's get the fuck out of here. Wait, can I talk to this guy? Yeah, yeah, no, I, I hear you, man. I hear you. Sorry. Come in. Come in. Hey, what you got, Caroline? We have a lead on those decryption keys for the nuclear cannon. Anya, it's a troop transport train recalled from the African front. On board is the chief research scientist for Death's Head's later generation super soldat program. He's leaving for the Nazi lunar base tonight to oversee the launch of the new super soldat. The intercepts the troop transport train, locates the chief research scientist, steal his identity, and use it to permit Blaskovich to take his seat on the lunar shuttle. Once you're the lunar base, you need to find the nuclear decryption keys and bring them back to Earth. How to intercept a high-speed Nazi troop transport train? We're actually going to the Let's fucking moon. The Gibraltar Bridge. Okay, yeah, okay, but how? Set, any ideas? We can use this one. This is very, very powerful. Where, in, in English, you can call it I mean, how's the spindly torque? You, you drop this in front of the train, this this will stop anything. Excellent. Leave right away. That the train is en route. Fuck me. I know what you're thinking, Blasco. No chance. I'm keeping this thing. You give that to Caroline.
Fucking look at it! Damned monster of a bridge! That Nazi highway to the African front! Fucking genocide enabler! The train should be arriving at the bridge any moment now. The Arder Blasco, stand by! That boy work. What the fuck kind of technology is that, dude? Dude, I'm almost in disbelief that we're actually going to, uh, we're actually going to the moon. Rocket launcher. Dual wooding left. Okay. <clears throat> Who's that? Hello? Why is that thing shooting? No, I hear you. I'm, I'll, I'll find my way right now. Can't get rid of this. Oh, what am I? T I'm like, I can't get rid of this cough. Guess what I got? Got fucking cough drops. Hello, Mike. Use your brain. Hello, hello. We got cough drops here, man. That's the whole pur purpose of them. Like, what am I going to do, man? What am I going to do? I don't know. I don't want to take a cough drop. How about that? How do you like them apples, Johnny? How do you like them apples? I don't like them apples, Johnny. I don't know what the fuck I'm Checking talking about. Yeah, Do I love cough drops, man? 
Every time I get like a sore throat, these things, I literally just eat these things like they're fucking candy. I never stop eating cough drops because I fucking hate having, like, obviously when you have a sore throat, right, you're just coughing non-stop and it just hurts, dude. It fucking hurts. But <clears throat> I use cough drops and uh, it doesn't hurt. So I'm okay. Do you think I can... Okay, that's us. That's us. Oh, shit. I don't understand the way I fell just now. That was instant relief, too, dude, when I put this cough drop in my mouth. Guys, I'm missing those shots. It looks like it's pinpoint like But I do have a bad habit of uh like biting on the cough drops. Like you're supposed to suck on the cough drops to help alleviate the cough, obviously, right? But uh <clears throat> I had like a big bag of them and I, I just I'm chewing through them instead of fucking you know, letting them dissolve. Do I? Yeah, here we go. Ooh. It's not somebody right there. Fuck, I did not see this. Oh, it's damn. Yeah, I thought it was gonna be more for take down that dude. I just, I just bit on my damn cough drop. Okay, I thought those were C4. I don't know why. There's the cart. <clears throat> All right, how do I get there? Yeah. Wait. No, not, no. Wait, how, how do I get there? Do I blow this thing in the water and then jump in the water? Or... Can't jump this way. Did I miss something? This thing's got a fucking perfect shot on me, dude.
what am I is that thing in the water or am I just losing my mind here that's not in the water Oh lord, yeah, I think I know what I'm supposed to do. Alright, hold on. This is why they gave me a fucking rocket launcher. Okay, never mind. That was... I, so what? what's the plan? He just had a dialogue right now like, Yeah, we gonna get that scientist right now. That's some bitch's eyes. Yeah. And I'm getting over here fucking blasted by this goddamn thing. Okay, I... You fucking... Just, oh my god, dude. What is this, dude? I don't know what I'm doing. Why am I climbing the goddamn thing and then just leave it like there's nothing up there for me? Uh, wait. Oh my god. I, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. What? What do you, what do you, what do you, wait, no. Are you shitting me? Make me do this all over again. Where's my AR gun? I don't... I didn't pick it up. Here we go, it's behind here. It's right away, where is it? Here it is. <clears throat> what? Um... Peek your head, buddy. Can I get rid of this? <clears throat> well, that answers that. Fuck, I bit on my damn cough drop. Alright. Whatever. There, the London Nautical Railway wagon. Inside, Death's Head's chief research scientist bound. <clears throat> Find a way around the gap. You know... <clears throat> Fucking find a way around the gap, dude. Oops, nope, wrong thing. Yeah. Targeting scope. What? <clears throat> Track, target, and fire at several enemies simultaneously. Okay. Nice, very nice. I like that. I don't know. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, that's us. My ass shard to shite. Ah, I keep fucking up. There you go. Howdy. What was that? Found something heavy. What? Oh, shit. <laughs> Fucking gun kicks ass, dude. The fuck, they're laying bombs on me. Oh, that he probably got taken out by the fucking okay. He didn't. My gun's just badass. I almost didn't give it enough credit. What the fuck? Shot you in your leg, didn't I? Pushing, I'm pushing, I'm pushing. Where's my team? Where's my team? Where's my team? I'm pushing up, pushing up. What the fuck is that? Why? Himself up. He's blowing himself up. <clears throat> dude, hell yeah, dude. Hell fucking yeah, dude. This gun is awesome. Shooting at me just then. Why is my aiming all different? 
Oh, because we're... Actually, I don't know. Oh god. I couldn't I couldn't fucking do shit. He just grabbed me and I was done for. I thought there was a sneaky point that I could like hit him in a critical area that he just blow up or something, but Yeah, that that didn't work. We can we can oh wait a minute. Hell yeah. Grenades. Nope. Ah, that kind of firepower is not going to work. <clears throat> I thought it would, though. Fucking three grenades and just nothing but being blasted by shells. Like, I don't know. It's not getting through the armor. <clears throat> cool. We'll do this smart. The right way. Why is my AK not? Oh, this ammo, dude. Wait, they hit one of those in the box? What the hell? Whoa! What the fuck? Oh god! Oh. 
Aye, aye. Stupid way to die, no shit. What the fuck was that? I headed right for the fucking turret and I that's what happened. Alright. Come on. Let's go first. You know, I've seen a few dimwits over the years. Talking kids with more self-esteem and sense. I didn't hear a single word that that Ferguson was saying after I got off the fucking pl the helicopter. I was just shooting and hearing nothing but explosions. Right, is everyone dead? Yeah, I'm fucking up. <laughs> uh, you know what it is? Cause I need some food, man. I need some damn food. Ah! Fuck these assholes! These heavy armored assholes, man. You're not even a heavy armor asshole. You're just. Wait, how did I over jump that? <laughs> Bro, I didn't even fucking commit to like the jump. I like pressed X and went forward very little and it, he fucking over jumped it. Oh wait, do I have to deal with these assholes again? No bitch. Wait, let me reload. All right, can I just? Nope, I ain't doing that. What are you doing? I like this music. This music's really chill. Oh 
much ammo do you take, dude? A lot. Like 21 Savage. I'm just gonna move forward. How about that? Look, there he is. Okay, we found him. We got the body. Let's get these codes. Or these, uh, things. You got the papers. Now what? We need to move fast. The Lunar Show leaves tonight from the London Nautica. You will need your equipment up there, but you need to check it as luggage. Not allowed in the passenger cabin. You need to keep a low profile. You may need a shave and a haircut. You certainly need some sleep. <laughs> You'll need to recover your equipment from the luggage area once you've arrived at the lunar base. Finally, you need to find those nuclear decryption keys. Bro, we, we're on the fucking moon, aren't we? L let me look outside. How, hello? We're, it literally says the moon. We're on the moon. What? Okay, okay. Alright, guys. Guys, alright. So we're gonna... I'm gonna take a break. We're gonna start from this point on, on the next one. Um, and then, I mean... I'm gonna be playing later on today. I just want to get some food, really. Uh, take a break here for a second, and then, because I don't know how close we are to the end, but I've really enjoyed this fucking game. Um, <laughs> there's, I don't know what it is about this game, dude. The story and everything, just kind of, it's, it's all kind of just wild how, how it started off and where I'm at now. I'm on the fucking moon all of a sudden, <laughs> but uh, yeah. Uh, so I'm, so yeah. I'll see you guys for the next one. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and as always, you guys take care, alright? Laters.